And today we are very uncomfortably sitting on my bedroom floor But that's besides the point because today we're talking all about hairstyles And I've been wanting to film this video for quite a while And I've actually been thinking about chopping all of my hair off Because I kind of just feel like it So I figured I might do this video before I chop them off So here for you guys I have some cute easy hairstyles that you can easily reproduce I also was thinking about doing like an expert one with all the braiding and stuff But I figured that for the first time it would be nicer to have an easier video However, we're using quite lots of accessories because I feel like that's just the easiest way to kind of achieve a great hairstyle if you are not that good with your fingers and you can't really braid all that well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we are starting out with freshly washed hair. I washed it yesterday and then I put it into like a loose braid kind of thing. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from the back. So this is a heatless hairstyle that I go for quite a lot to kind of achieve a bit of a wavy look. So that's what we're starting out with, that's the base. The first hairstyle is so easy that it's actually cheating because you take your hairband, you shake out your hair, pull it on, and you're done. That's all you do basically. I feel like hair bands, like actual bands, are such an overlooked way to just get your hair out of your face and I do this a ton if I work and if my hair is fresh and I don't want to put it in a ponytail for it to kind of wrinkle up. So yeah, this is all that I do basically and I use this so so much. It's so loose that it doesn't really hurt my head so I can wear this all day and it literally takes one second. It looks amazing and you can just go do your work and have your hair out of your face. The second type of hairstyle requires our claw clip which is literally all over the internet. What I usually do is I either do a half up half down kind of situation or I pull it all into one bun so let me first show you guys the half up half down and I usually don't take from like the whole front section but I usually just take up from my temples and then kind of judge it around and just pull it back and sorry if I'm looking next to you but the mirror is right in front so that I can see myself and see what I'm doing take the hair clip and I just clip it back like that and then you can obviously always pull out some front pieces or just kind of drag it up so it has the effect of being even messier and effortless less what is even supposed to mean because there's always effort behind everything but yeah this is basically a second hairstyle it again takes one second and you still have like a nice open hair moment without your hair hanging in your face because that's one thing that I cannot stand okay so now for a full claw clip moment you basically pull back all of your hair kind of wrap it up and lead your hair string up your head and then back down your head and then you're just gonna take your clip and secure it so that it stays in place and then again, once you're done, once you're satisfied with how tight it is, you can pull out multiple strings and kind of make it look messy, make it look effortless, make it look the way that you want to. What's also really nice about this hairstyle is that once you take it out, because you have it twisted up and twisted down, your hair kind of has a lot more movement. And especially if it's like a bit damp and you just put it up right after you get out of the shower. On to the king of hairstyles, the messy bun. I'm still on my journey to the perfect messy bun every time because somehow every time I do a messy bun on purpose, it just looks like crap and every time I just throw up my hair and leave it looks perfect so usually for my messy buns I use these wavy hair ties because they're really elastic and you can pull them out quite long what I usually do is I pull up all of my hair into a ponytail I try to make it as high as possible just because if it sits on top of your head it's kind of more secure that way and then I use my hair tie I pull it around once like this and then basically from now on, I just pull it through halfway. So now I put it through halfway, I take the rest of the hair and I take it back in with my hair tie. I pull really tight so that way I have more room to turn it around. And then I basically just push it over once more. Yeah, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not that good. And sometimes I also just use another hair tie to pin things down. But since I have my baby hair clips now, I'm just gonna use one now to just bring down this one thing here. That's it, again, you can pull out whatever you feel like. And it's also quite nice for a messy bun if you pull out quite a lot, especially at the front and at the sides, because obviously like, 
you want it to be messy. Wow, this is actually quite a good attempt for <laughs> that I wanted to do it on purpose. So yeah, this is my messy bun, you guys. I know my hair is kind of frizzy, so it looks kind of crazy right now. But you could just tame down those pieces a bit or maybe twist them like that so they have a bit more form and it doesn't look like you actually just roll out of bed, which is totally not what I did and which is also not the reason why my voice is so cracky. No, no. <laughs> Anyway, this is my messy bun, and as I said, it literally takes me a second, and it takes some practice. It's not perfect every time. Okay, so let's open this baby up again, and now let's go into some front piece action. So I think we're just gonna stay with the hair clips since we literally just used them. And what you want to do is you just want to part your hair down the middle, take it out a bit, and then basically take the smallest front pieces and just hold them up like that, and then take your baby hair clips and just put them in there to secure your hair and I usually take two because one it looks cuter and two it's more secure and just like that you have a baby front section pinned away and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so you just take this baby piece that you took before hold it up and then either crisscross the colors or put them in the way that you put them in on the other side and then add the second one and you're done yet again and you can tell me nothing this is the cutest hairstyle that ever exists on planet earth every time I put this hair up like that I just feel like a little girl running through a flower field with like a summer dress on and it just I just absolutely love it so especially if you have a bit of a wave going on or if you kind of braid your hair the night in before you have a lot of volume going on and it kind of really I don't know accentuates your face it just makes you look so cute and so nice and yeah this is definitely one of my favorites also because it's literally so easy and once again you don't have hair in your face so this is also a perfect summer hairstyle for the hotter days okay so this is a little sister of the front up and the big sister of the front up is if you actually braid it up and this is the only braid that we're gonna do because I really want to do like a whole braiding video and explain to you guys how to French braid, how to Dutch braid, how to do a normal braid, this and that so I'm just quickly gonna do this now for you guys to see what I mean so basically we're gonna take the same section we're gonna go even smaller this time and we're just gonna quickly part them into three parts so we can braid and you could also just braid it up like that and just pin it back but if you want to to look obviously a bit cuter then you're gonna French braid so you're gonna take in bits and pieces along the way and we're literally just gonna do this for like two or three centimeters for the hair to kind of stick up a bit just like we did with the clips before but now obviously we're caking hair and we're braiding it so we're gonna secure it with a hair tie at the end so this is all that we're gonna do I'm just gonna braid one more time for it to be a bit more secure and then I'm gonna take my sister's hair tie and I'm just gonna put it in right where the last of the hair basically leaves my head and obviously you could also color coordinate the little hair ties that you have in now once you have this you want to just pull it really tight so it kind of sticks up and it gives you that lifted effect and you're just gonna repeat that on the other side so this is the finished look and I feel like this looks very what is this is this 80 is this 90 I honestly don't know I think it's 90s but yeah I just think it's absolutely adorable as I said it kind of gives the same effect like you would do it with clips but it's just a bit more secure and it's also a bit fancier basically because you're braiding it but if you can't braid just use your clips and then watch my next video where I'm going to show you guys how to braid your hair okay so for the last of our front piece action we're going to braid once more but we're not going to french braid up we're going to do a normal braid down so basically what you do literally so easy you just take a bunch of hair you can make it smaller or bigger depending on what you prefer and then basically what you do is you just braid three strands of your hair together and you can make it tighter you can make it looser you can can take tiny pieces you can make it big and voluminous just like that actually you could put in a hair tie down there but since I only have these like flashy pink ones I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and if you just scrunch it up a bit it's gonna hold a bit longer but I think it's also just a really cool look for it to kind of be natural and then braid itself up again because you can literally redo it within seconds so I think this natural open non hair tie kind of look is what I really enjoy so let me just quickly do that on the other side et voila 10 seconds and you're done I've never put this in my hair but I really like the bohemian vibe it has so now that we're all done with the braiding front part and also with the claw clip accessories let's move on to my personal favorite the headband and it also it just looks so adorable you can tell me nothing this is the cutest thing ever for our first one we are gonna do the hair tie so basically you're gonna take your headband and you're gonna fold it in half to create this little triangle shape and then you're just gonna roll it up so it becomes a band and once you have this basically all that you want to do is you want to flip your hair over your head then put the little triangle part at the bottom of your skull so it stays there and it doesn't move and then drag it up to the front of your hair and just tie a knot so that way it 
is secure obviously and try not to tie in that much hair into the hair tie because it's also gonna hurt a bit okay and don't worry it's okay that it looks like this in the beginning because now obviously you just gotta swoosh it around because your hair was just upside down so you basically just pull back the hair and try to place it in a way that looks nice to you and I actually really like these little thingies sticking out here so I usually leave them out and I usually also put them kind of where my part is because I feel like it just accentuates the whole thing you could also put out some pieces just like we did before and that's basically all that you do and this is so easy and so nice and I feel like not a lot of people are really doing this but I just absolutely love it I think it's so cute and you can also again color coordinate it to your outfit you can use it as your pop of color if you have a completely clean outfit it's just so versatile and it's such a cute vibe I absolutely adore it we have two more hairstyles with the headband and for the next two ones we're gonna use its triangle shape so we're gonna unroll the little sausage that we did and obviously it would be nice for you to iron it first but I don't have an iron and I don't care about wrinkles so fuck that and this I actually did just once before and it's kind of giving me Pirates of the Caribbean vibes not gonna lie also Billie Eilish does this quite a lot and you basically just take your hair band like this and then you lay it on top of your forehead and you just let it fall down in the back and this is nicer if it's a bit longer too not gonna lie but you just take it like that and then you just try to pull down the triangle a bit and then you just tie it in the back just like that and the only thing that you kind of want to look for is that if you have a smaller headband like me you don't want there to be like these rough edges and corners because that basically just doesn't accentuate your head shape at all so you just want to make sure to tuck them under as you can guess this is perfect for if you have absolutely disgusting greasy hair on like day four or five or whenever you guys wash your hair because it just covers your whole scalp basically and it leaves out the nice hair at the bottom which still looks fine and then the last but certainly not least hairstyle that I have for you guys is the typical cottage girl I just bought a way too expensive vintage dress just to take this picture and it will feel really cute and I'm gonna go strawberry picking now hairstyle <laughs> So what you want to do for that is you basically, in case you want to leave some of the front parts out, you want to keep them in front of your face. Tuck the back hair back, then take your triangle again, and this time not put it on top of your forehead, but put it on top of your head like that. And then basically flip all of your hair over again, and then tie in the back interesting <laughs> and then again you need to work with these a little bit because obviously they're not gonna fall perfect the first time so pull this back a bit try to jazz it around in the way that you want you can keep your ears in the band if you want to or you can make them stick out you could also take your curling iron and kind of curl the front pieces away a bit so they have a bit more structure this is the final look for you guys this honestly I feel like is kind of my favorite because this is also the first thing that I tried out when I used the headband last summer yeah this is just a really cute hairstyle it evokes lots of happy memories for me and I just absolutely love it I think it's so adorable so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already that really helps me out a lot and also leave a comment down below what you guys would like to see from me next hairstyle related if I should do like a braiding video if I should do a heatless hairstyles overnight because I do those a ton and this is also how I achieve these waves basically also like this video if you did and I will see you guys in one of my next ones bye bye these sustainable kids save your hair. And yes, almost all of these products are kids' hair products, but honestly, you make your own rules, so.